What is going on boys? It is me Quentin and I welcome back to a brand new episode of my Road to Glory career mode and we're going to start things off in the Capital One Cup. We're looking at the bracket and we're going to be facing Arsenal in the quarter final. So Arsenal is the first team we're going to have to face in today's episode and we actually beat them in the league so I decided to put the five in the back once again because it worked in the league. Hopefully it works in the Capital One Cup. So could Arsenal get the revenge and win or could we just get another win against them and they have a pretty strong team in the midfield that Ramsey, Cockle and Cazorla they have Wolbeck playing as left mid, Walcott with the pace on the right and they have Giroud as the striker so they have a really good squad compared to us and they were going to start things off very early on with Cockelin and he just he just bamboozled our defense. He's just moving around like a little like a little freaking fly and he just smashes it in back of the net. Mitryushkin just saw it go by and uh, he tried his best but our defense it was just destroyed and Arsenal went up 1-0 very early on. So this is disappointing and we actually thought we were going to do very well with a 5 in the back but honestly we're playing very bad. We're going to the second half and it's Montreal on the ball. He centers it to Giroud and then Giroud makes it 2-0. So the 5 in the back was not working whatsoever. We're down 2-0 and we're, we're basically out of the Capital One Cup. Unless we can try and score as many goals as we can in these last couple of minutes. But then we're on the ball with Baluli and he shoots it. And Arsenal defensively were very, very good. And they weren't trying to lose. Now it's Brisenio with the header. And Chesney was just doing work in the back. Look at this. He's just been doing so many damn saves in this game. And yes, boys, we are knocked out of the Capital One Cup. So it, it doesn't really matter. Quarterfinals is pretty good. Uh, but Capital One Cup is not an important... It's not an important trophy, so it's okay. We're just going to have to focus on the FA Cup. But Burnley, they actually went through, and I think that's Rottingham who they beat, so, or Rotherham. So they went through, and Arsenal is going to, they're just going to destroy Burnley. But our next game was going to be versus Southampton in the league. And look at this early on, Baluli's on the ball, and he misses. Baluli hasn't been playing too well. He's been creating chances, but then it's Solanke on the ball, and yes, boys. It is 1-0. Solanke was coming in for Labidi, who didn't have a very good game against Arsenal. I decided to rest Labidi, and we put in Solanke, who is literally his twin brother. And look at that. A beautiful pass. And then Solanke, he just, he just gets past the defense so easily. And then it was going to be Reed on the ball. And what is Anderson doing? He was trying to get in the way. And he shot the ball to the side. The side netting, we got very lucky. And that is how that game ended. We win the game 1-0. And this is how we leave off in the league table. We are in 5th place. Yes, we, we, we went from 8th to 5th place. And whole city are still in 1st place. Uh, but it, it's just a huge, huge amount of difference between us. So if we just keep getting good results, we're just going to make it to that top 3 very, very fast. And we're going to end things off in the BPL versus Aston Villa. Could we get the win in today's game? We got the win against Southampton. Can we get it here? Look at this. Mitri Yushkin, Superman in the back, flying around, getting the balls out. And look at that. They were just they were just plummeting us with so many damn shots. And we had to react. And look at this. this is Julian Vigo with the freaking, oh, the fake shot. And then the freaking post. We got unlucky. And we got a free kick here. And look at that. Oh, my God. It went over the bar. And I think that was freaking Anderson with the header. I'm not sure, but we were getting so close. But then it was Aston Villa. And yes, no, they do not score. Mate Yushkin had the game of his life. And then we messed it up with our defense. I think it was Browning. He was trying to pass it along to the midfield. And I think it was Benteke who just, he just, he destroyed us. But then there was hope for us. They gave up a penalty. And it was going to be Baluli who finally scores. He was on a dry streak. He couldn't score anything. And he finally scores to make it 1-1. Mitryushkin in the back helping out. He didn't want to concede. And this was going to be the last play. Solanke with the shot. And oh my god. That was the worst shot. The worst free kick that you've ever seen in your life. And we draw the game 1-1 versus Aston Villa. They should have won. Uh, but we got that penalty. And this is how the match facts looked at the end of the game. We had five shots. One on target. And then we're going to send this match versus Sunderland and we won the game 1-0 so even though we lost against Aston Villa we get a good result here against Sunderland so that leaves us in sixth place in the league which is disappointing but hey we tried we're in sixth place and we have 31 points 
and Chelsea are now new league leaders and our next game is gonna be actually against them so we are able to get into that top three if we beat Chelsea so that's important hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment uh, but that is pretty much it I'm Quinkin I'll see you guys next time